What is the gift of speaking in tongues? Let's go to scripture for the answers. It's important to remember that everything that the Holy Spirit does begins within your spirit and then eventually manifests or becomes expressed in the outer man. Everything that the Holy Spirit will do, from physical healing to gifts of the Holy Spirit to anointing for ministry, will begin in your spirit. And as you surrender to the influence of the Holy Spirit, that influence goes from the spirit to the soul to the body. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says this, Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. When I first began to speak in tongues, it didn't manifest right away. I remember a preacher speaking on the baptism with the Holy Spirit, so I responded to the altar call expecting to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and I was. But that gift of tongues did not manifest until at a later service when I began praying in tongues. So there was a delay between the time that I received the gift and the time that the gift was expressed in my life. I received the gift in my spirit the moment I requested it. I received the gift in my spirit the moment I received the baptism with the Holy Spirit. But that gift manifested at a later time. All spiritual things proceed from the Spirit. This is what the Bible says concerning that inner working of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9-14 say, That is what the Scriptures mean when they say, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him. But it was to us that God revealed these things by His Spirit, for His Spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit, and no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things God has freely given us. When we tell you these things, we do not use words that come from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the Spirit, using the Spirit's words to explain spiritual truths. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. If you want to understand what the gift of speaking in tongues is, you must first understand spiritual dynamics. The Holy Spirit knows the mind of God. He is God. The Holy Spirit searches out the deep things of God, and He reveals those deeper things to your spirit. So, in your spirit, this is incredible, in your spirit, you already know God. In your spirit, there is power. There is love. There is peace. There is joy. There is righteousness, holiness, boldness, all of those things that God wants you to do to become, to have, all of that is within your spirit already. So, for example, revelation of the Word is not the receiving of new information. You already know God in your spirit. You already understand the Word in your spirit. So, revelation is not the receiving of new knowledge. Revelation is when what I understand in my spirit becomes manifested or known in my natural mind from the inside out. So speaking in tongues is the same thing. Speaking in tongues is rooted in the Spirit. You may use your mouth to speak in tongues, but the gift itself begins in the inner man. The gift itself has origins, roots in the inner man. Here's what the Scripture says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 2 and 4. For if you have the ability to speak in tongues... You will be talking only to God since people won't be able to understand you. You will be speaking by the power of the Spirit, but it will all be mysterious. Verse 4, a person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally, but one who speaks a word of prophecy strengthens the entire church. Now, a little side note here, Paul the Apostle is not condemning the gift of tongues. He is comparing the gift of tongues to the gift of prophecy. Obviously, 
Prophecy in a church setting is more beneficial because it benefits more people than just the individual using the gift. But with the gift of tongues, Paul the Apostle writes that you are speaking by the power of the Spirit. And look at verse 4 again. A person who speaks in tongues is strengthened personally. So the gift of tongues does work something in your spirit. It strengthens the influence of the spirit man in your life. Now look at what the scripture says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. What a powerful truth. You don't have two spirits in you. You don't have or consist of two natures. You are a spirit who has a soul that lives in a body. Your identity is based in the spirit. Your spirit is one with the Holy Spirit. If I get two glasses of water and mix them into one vessel, you won't be able to separate those waters from the waters. You'll simply see one complete body of water. In the same way, your spirit has merged with the Holy Spirit. You are one with the Spirit. So in the spirit realm, you have all you need. You are what God wants you to become. You have that connection. Now the key then is getting the reality of the Spirit to manifest or express itself in the outer shells of who you are, your soul and body. So if I am one with the Spirit, that means I'm complete in Christ. Now this does not mean that we don't need to grow, we don't need to be disciplined, we don't need to learn. In fact, we must do all those things because we want the Spirit to gain influence in our lives. But we're not coming at this hoping to be connected with God. We come at this from a confident connection that we know we already have with God. Now here's a key verse, 1 Corinthians 14, 14. For if I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I am saying. So get this now. I'm a body, soul, spirit. I am a spirit who has a soul that lives in a body. My spirit is one with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit, according to 1 Corinthians 2, 9-14, searches out the deep things of God, knows the mind of God, understands His ways completely, and He's merged with my spirit. And so now I have that fellowship continually, 24-7, my spirit with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit communicating the deeper things of God to my spirit. What a powerful reality. And that's what's happening in you right now. So then, when I pray in tongues, the scripture says, my spirit is praying. So if my spirit is praying, and my spirit is one with the Holy Spirit, that means that when I pray in tongues, it's really the Holy Spirit praying. Does the Holy Spirit pray? Here's what the scripture says in Romans chapter 8, verses 26 and 27. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for. But the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. Powerful couple of verses here. So the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness when we don't know what to pray. When we are not aware of God's will or God's desires for specific instances in our lives, the Holy Spirit is aware. So it is by the Holy Spirit that we know and pray the mind of God. So the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings. What does that mean? Deep, deep longing with groanings, with passion and zeal. I would dare say that if you could see into the realm of the Spirit and watch the Holy Spirit pray for you, that you would see Him face down on the floor. Tears streaming down his face, fists pounding on the ground, his voice booming as he prays for you. The Holy Spirit prays for you with more love and passion than a parent prays for a child, than a grandparent prays for a grandchild, than a spouse prays for a spouse. The Holy Spirit knows you like no one else knows you, and he prays for you like no one else can pray for you. And that's what's happening in the realm of the Spirit. So let's connect these realities the Holy Spirit prays for you. My spirit is one with the Holy Spirit. 
When I pray in tongues, my spirit is praying. Therefore, when I pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit is praying for me through me. When you pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit is praying for you through you. You're speaking aloud in the natural realm those prayers that the Holy Spirit prays in the Spirit. This is why praying in tongues is so powerful. Because when I pray in tongues, I'm giving the Holy Spirit that place of influence. I'm agreeing perfectly with those prayers that He prays. I'm praying in harmony with the Holy Spirit's prayers. You're giving vocalization. You're giving a mouth to the Holy Spirit. It's as if He's saying, I'll pray for you myself, if only you'll give me a voice. And that's what speaking in tongues does. Speaking in tongues causes you to speak aloud in the natural realm, those groanings that are prayed in the spirit realm. So what is praying in tongues? Praying in tongues is when I pray the Holy Spirit's prayer by the grace and the gift of God. So it's a very deep spiritual practice. What a wonderful gift God has given to us that we can speak aloud those prayers of the Holy Spirit. Now before I pray with you, I want to encourage you to check out the other two videos that I'm doing on this exact subject. There's another video I have titled, Can Every Christian Pray in Tongues? I also have another video on this subject titled, Why Can't I Pray in Tongues? That's for those of you who are frustrated with your inability to operate in this gift. Now, I want to pray with you. I want to pray that God would allow you to see the beauty of the gift. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would cause us to appreciate this wonderful spiritual reality that we can pray what the Holy Spirit prays, that the Holy Spirit can pray for us, through us. Thank you for this beautiful, wonderful gift of praying in tongues. I pray, Lord, you help us to honor that gift, to embrace that gift. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. I want you to say it because you believe it. Say, Amen. Here now is a question for conversation. In this season of your life, what do you think the Holy Spirit is praying for you? Tell me about it in the comments section right now. Make sure you are subscribed to Encounter TV on YouTube and make sure that you click that notification bell so that you can receive notices when we put out new content. You can also follow us wherever you're watching us. Now, I want to take this moment to encourage you to get involved with what God is doing through His ministry, this ministry. This ministry belongs to the Lord. We're just stewards. Through this ministry, God is saving the lost, healing the sick, delivering the captive, empowering and encouraging and informing the believer. Get behind what God is doing. We believe that the gospel is the answer. Jesus is the answer for the world today. We want to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit all around the world through events and media. We don't charge for events. We don't charge for the content. We don't charge for the Holy Spirit school. We don't charge for the live streams. We go by faith. So everything you see coming out of this ministry is donor supported. So get involved. Join this army of supporters that we have all around the world by contributing a one-time gift or by becoming a monthly ministry supporter. Help fund the gospel. Help us win souls. Help this ministry to continue going and growing. Link with the favor of God that's on this work. You can give a one-time gift by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash donate. You can also become a partner by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash partner. Whatever you do, whether it be one time or monthly or both, gifts large and small, everything makes a difference. So step out in faith today. Let the Holy Spirit challenge you to give to the gospel. Support this ministry 
that we might continue to win souls all around the world. Well, that's it. And until next time, remember, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.